Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have discussed about uh, different types of basic knowledge that are really required for a civil engineer. So, as usual, in this video, I am going to discuss about the difference between bending and buckling. So, this is this is the this is two most important topic in columns. So, I mean in for column designs and uh, beam design. So it should know for every civil engineer that's why I'm going to discuss about that so let's start and if you new here you can watch our previous video if you think that that's really helpful for you so first of all I will discuss about what is buckling so buckling occurs due to axial load so when axial load work on a member then buckling occurs and bending occurs due to the transverse load so if the transverse load loading are occurring then bending occurs so if we see in that figure here you are seeing that this is the load where the transverse load okay with that axis that that load are working it's like a transverse load and it's creating bending but if we see here uh, that load are working with its axis with its axis I mean its uh, parallel axis that's why it's creating buckling so these types of displacement known as buckling and these types of displacement known as bending I mean if the uh, uh, I mean if the deflection occurs due to transverse load then it is known as bending and if the deflection occurs due to axial load then it is known as buckling so after that buckling indicates failures okay buckling indicates failure when uh, buckling occur it is represent that the building will collapse or that portion will collapse okay I mean irrespective of magnitudes and uh, bending is natural under transverse load okay so bending is natural I mean uh, when bending occur it's not means that the building will crack or building will collapse and it is considered as failure I mean when we will consider that bending will failure as long as deflection is within limits I mean will not consider that our structure are being failure till our deflection is within limits but when it will cross the limits of deflection then we will consider that it is failure after that when a member is overstress in bending it can form plastic hinge and absorb that extra energy from of rotations okay so what is that when a member is overstressed in bending okay uh, I mean due to bending if the member being overstressed then it can create plastic hinge and uh, if you have the knowledge about pushover analysis then you know that about that plastic hinge so the formation of plastic hinge and absorb that extra energy so it absorbs extra energy in the form of rotations but when the buckling occurs then that it is a failure okay so the occurrence of buckling means it's represent the failure I mean uh, it's may fail the structure so after that for bending failure is caused due to transverse sharing for transverse sharing failure occur for buckling failure is caused due to the lateral deflection okay and uh, finally bending is a state of a stress bending is a state of a stress but buckling is a state of instability okay so this these two terms represent that when buckling occur it's um, it's have a huge chance to fail the structure but uh, for bending the structure will not fail until the bending is within 
I mean uh, the bending for the deflection is within its limits so I think uh, it's clear to you that what is bending and what is buckling so in this figure if you show that if I show you that so here this is the uh, long compression member so when the load are working yeah, with its axis within its axis then it is longest known as buckling and uh, for short column and long column two types of failure occur first of all crashing and second all buckling so buckling failure occurs when the columns are long columns and uh, crashing failure occur when it's short column so uh, I know there are many civil engineers who have confusion about the two terms short column and long column what is short column and what is long column and how will measurement that so in my previous video I have discussed about that uh, you will find that playlist in in the end of that video I mean it's the ending time of that video so uh, the playlist name is civil engineering basic knowledge that you will find that solution and uh, they have a mathematic problem solved and uh, about short column and long column so it's okay and if you have any problem or if you have any question about the topic you can comment me below or also you can uh, mail me the mail are given in description and uh, in this channel as you hear that means you're a civil engineer and this is a channel for you and if you think that this channel is helpful for you press the like button and don't forget to share that video with your engineer friend and if you think that this channel is helpful for you just press the like uh, subscribe button and stay with us for the next one so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video